Freedom of speech has been under attack across the world. This young boy is one of the world's youngest political prisoners. The heartless compulsory hijab rules in Iran. As a member of the United Human Rights Council, why does Saudi Arabia imprison a young man who committed no crime, who only created a blog calling for freedom? There's a deafening silence when it comes to Tibet. My mother sacrificed herself in order to protect me. I saw her raped in from my eyes. The government used tear gas to eliminate people on the street. This summit is a meeting of human rights activists, of NGOs from across the world. We're here to pressure governments to fulfill their duty to protect each and every individual. Speaking up does make a difference. We, the Iranian women, have a dream that one day our voice get heard and compulsory hijab will leave Iran forever. I'm extremely grateful to be here. You have listened. You have cared. Together, we can change North Korean lives. We must stay focused and stay hopeful for the democratic movements in Hong Kong. Governments have one duty that a lot of them don't comply with, and that is the duty to protect the human rights of each and every one of their citizens. And we're here to remind them of this task. These brave men and women don't stand alone in their fight for their basic human rights. We stand together. A lot of people seem to lose hope after being in tough situations. But when you listen to these people talk who have been through so much, you realize that there is hope in the world. It's very inspirational to hear these people talk about everything that they've been through. One cannot rule indefinitely through repression. Losing hope is not a luxury we have. It's always inspirational to see that people that have been victims of human rights abuses still find hope in their heart that they can change the world. And if they can find this hope, we should always support them. I was kept in solitary confinement for nearly 15 months. It just collapsed in that situation until day, until a day when I received a bag of cards from all over the world. There were more than 200. So ever since that moment, I stood up. I stood up even in my cell. So I saw the hope. And now I'm a free man. I want to pay my homage to the human rights heroes whom we have heard from in the past two days. Their voice must be heard by heads of states, policymakers, foreign ministers, indeed everyone in the world.